of 2017. Steve Cypress here. Trying to be a little bit quiet here in the hotel suite here in Schaumburg, Illinois. My beautiful wife, Michelle, is uh, pretty much, I think, I just woke her up. And we're about to head to the uh, final day of this conference that we're here for. And I just mentioned the town of Schaumburg, Illinois, which is the subject of today's Throwback Thursday. And uh, here's my uh, rhino of the day. It is this uh, cute little fuzzy rhino uh, with, for some reason, has this, uh, oh, there's the rhino, and for some reason he has, no why, has this clip. Let's clip them on to maybe a, a, a you know, two-year-old's backpack while they walk over something, <laughs> or, or it's for an adult to add to his collection of rhinos. So uh, here I am. Wearing my old, uh, one of my old Chicago Land and Senior Softball League t shirts, and here in Schaumburg, Illinois, where last night, after day one of the conference, we went out with a group of people to have some dinner and uh, you know, do some networking. And we went to a place, I forget what it's called, the, the, the Oh man, I forget what it's called, the patio something or other in Schomburg, which used to, um, we're, as we drive up to it, I mean, we're, it's like old, old homecoming week. We're driving past a place called the Westwood Tavern, where we hosted dozens of events. And I think at least one or two of our annual uh, Christmas parties are there with Chicago and Sharp entrepreneurs over the years uh, by the University of Phoenix, where we have a bunch of events. There. Uh, we drove past the uh, the Marriott uh, Courtyard by Marriott, Schomburg, where we hosted our very first ever event for Chicago and Sharpest Entrepreneurs, which back then was called a the Chicago chapter of uh, the GKIC, the Glazer Kennedy Insider Circle, and that was in 2008. Um, we uh, drove by a couple of other places that we had hosted events and of course some of our favorite restaurants and it was truly a trip down memory lane then the group went into this patio place as we're driving up i'm like oh well no wonder we know but this used to be john barley corns which had two locations had one in the city one one here I'm told they're now out of business and this place has been there for a couple under this name we even once toured the place and looked, looked into having uh one of our events at the Christmas party we were going to have here. But I don't remember the reason at, here, there at the, the John Barley Corn upstairs, a big meeting, but for whatever reason we didn't have it there. But so meanwhile, here we are hanging out, networking, you know, after the conference kind of thing with attendees. And who walks in the door? I see my beautiful wife like Michelle is, 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 is practically shrieking at like, who walks in the door? Is a guy by the name Lafito. Might not mean a lot to you, but I'm like, you just, you must be kidding me. I mean, he didn't know we're there. We didn't know he was coming there. Of all people to see, Mike Lafitte is on the cover. He's featured in an expert interview in the September issue of Rhino Monthly Magazine. And there he is coming in. And the photo, we took a photo, an updated photo last night, got it to my layout person and said, said, I know you're done magazine, can you switch this out for the eight-year-old photo that was going to be facing the cover. We have a brand new photo that we took together miraculously somehow seeing each other last night. I mean, I was just on his website checking over everything for his Rhino Daily podcast interview and his uh, the Rhino Daily, the Rhino Monthly Magazine cover. Interview. I mean, so I was we were joking around. I said, Mike, you know, last time I seen him, when he first came to me, he, he's, he's a real estate agent. I'm like, you were a real estate agent. He was part time. He was the uh, of his high school football team and former high school star player there at high school. I think uh, forgetting I forget where Hinsdale, Aprilville, and uh, and he was selling. You know, I'm like, we're joking. I'm like, like you were selling like two. 50,000 homes. He's like, yeah, I was, I was some trailer park. 
That's right. You know, well, now, I mean, just go to his website, just type into any search engine, Mike Lowe, look and say, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Now you have on your website, you're listed a $17.9 million property. You got a couple of $10 million property, $7 million. Fizzy. He is, he, he teaches how to sell luxury real estate, has clients all over the world. He's got a best-selling book on luxury real estate sales, got all kinds of stuff going on. I mean, if you connected in any way or know anybody who's selling real estate and wants to make a lot of money with pretty much the same amount of work, I mean, you sell $10 million houses instead of selling a bunch of three, four $400,000 houses, making more money but it's a whole different ball game folks they talk about it a lot here marketing to the affluent selling to people that have money to spend it's a whole different ball game well mike has taken that to the stratosphere and he teaches that to real estate agents and there he was walking into this place to meet with some i connected to real estate who also happened to be there with another group and just amazing Amazingly, uh, just coincidental that we run into them. Oh, one other uh, thing on the trip down memory lane is the, the second ever speaker I had for my back then the GKIC chapter became Chicago and Sharpers Entrepreneurs was internet superstar Matt Basak. He was actually the first speaker ever to, he came up to me in an event and said, I want to come speak. At your event, I never had an outside speaker before. Didn't even think about it. Uh, he booked a few months in advance. I then booked another speaker that technically spoke the month before him, but he, he was the first ever book speaker. Well, after the, the meeting, he, he's from Atlanta. He was like, I was like, let's stay out for some to eat. Uh, you know, you know what, what do you want to eat? He's like, you know, I always wanted to try Chicago pizza. And people from Chicago or been to Chicago, you know, Chicago has its deep dish pizza that it's famous for. And so, so right down the street from that Schomburg courtyard by Marriott Schomburg, where we had those meetings back then, I mean, cra a crazy old, ridiculous looking place. Maybe I'll post some photos on here. And uh, we're like, oh, there's a pizzeria, uno, deep, deep dish pizza. 